LBJ Ranch, fall 1955. Our fourth fall at the ranch. Hubert Humphrey and Muriel and their son Skipper came by to visit us on their way back from a vacation time in Arizona, I believe. Lyndon had had a heart attack just about four months before. And we were spending a quiet time at the ranch recuperating but doing a lot of things that we loved around the ranch. Buying a new tractor, getting our irrigation system going to suit us, and building a new swimming pool. Also that fall, we built a guest house. And when we showed the plans, well, or rather, the house was going up then. When we showed it to Muriel and Hubert, they liked it so much that they got a set of the plans and took them home. And that's what they used for their own house on the lake. See how slim Lyndon is. And here, we have a visit from Arthur Godfrey. He flew down, piloting his own plane, bringing with him Scoop Russell and Bill White and Jerry Griffin. There's Scoop Russell, his great friend. And they spent a night or two with us, and we had a good visit around the newly built swimming pool. The signs of construction you can still see in the back. There's Bill White, Jerry Griffin, George Reedy. Here are Linda and Lucy checking out the new pool. A plump 11-year-old Linda and an equally plump 8-year-old Lucy. Two more vistas, Jim Rowe and Tom Corcoran. New caves are coming. See how bronze and slim Lyndon is. There's Beagle. He was never far from Lyndon in those days. Many things have changed at the ranch, including the fence. One thing that has not changed is a lovely bend of the river. And here is Stu Symington back to see us. Five years ago, he came. Lyndon brought him to this very place to see Aunt Frank. I was along. Little did I have a dream, this would be our home. And here are Neva and Wesley West. Wesley, in a minute, we'll see. The hammocks, the outdoor chairs were a big part of life. We seldom stayed indoors if the sun was shining, which it nearly always is. There's Carolyn Killam, Linda's great friend. And there's Jim McConaughey of life. He was killed in a plane crash not long afterward. And there's Senator Kerr, complete with galluses. I expect we learned all about cattle that weekend, except that Senator Kerr would much have preferred Black Angus. Isn't that a darling little new case? If you're a lover of Herefords, though, there's nothing to take their place. John Connolly and Clark Clifford get the what's over from Beagle. And there's Lyndon saying goodbye to Senator Kerr. And there's Bill Fulbright and Orrin Harris. I believe there must have been a football game for Arkansas playing us. And there's Bobby Baker showing Betty Fulbright something about the new pool. There's Betty and Lyndon underneath one of the 300-year-old live oaks that we love so much. We still have nothing planted on the fence. I remember Stu gave us some suggestions about what to plant. It looked much better a year later. Lucy solved integration in her own way. 
she was great friends of the Mexican family that lived on the place. And there is Linda Bird having a ride with Senator Fulbright and Beagle and Daddy in the golf cart. And here's the foreman's son trying to get the little burrow. There's uh, Senator Fulbright and Lyndon getting acquainted with our Mexican burrow. If you own a ranch, you find yourself a sort of a Noah's Ark. Your friends all send you animals that they think you should certainly have. A burrow was a natural for us. Lyndon is showing Frank and Ruth Stanton the ranch. Linda for a ride on one of the Shetlands. There's Frank enjoying the sunshine. This must have been late November, possibly even getting on into December. But there was once a Christmas. This was the very Christmas that we went swimming on December the 25th, Christmas Day. So the weather at the ranch is very sunny and very beneficent. That fall, the swimming pool meant more to us than I think it has since. We were always in it. You see, it's quite bare. There's no planting yet. Albert Jackson and Jenny down from Dallas to visit us. Ruth Stanton. Lyndon always swam with his dark glasses on if the sun was bright. Paul Taft, I think it was. And there is Juanita Roberts. And there's Estes Kipofa. By now, it's deer season, after November the 15th. Estes came down, and he and Lyndon went for a hunt, and he killed a good buck. I remember they left before the sun came up. I got up and gave them coffee, and then went straight back to bed. In those days, Lyndon had a magnum, and when, when you fired it, it had a big kick, and, and it was likely to come back and hit people in the eye. There's Grace Tully. And there's Lyndon's sister, Josepha, and George Reedy in the background. The wind was always blowing at the ranch. There's the morning's kill and the old car that we now call the tank because it's so heavy to drive, but it's, it's eternal. It just stays on and on because we can't sell it. There's Estes for the symbol of the Democratic Party. In a minute, you're likely to see someone who has had a kickback from the gun. Now, here is a press conference. Estes, Lyndon, Grace Tully. You'll see the fields in the background. We've just gotten in some of the planting. Now it's running rampant over the place. And there's the cabana where the press conference was held. George Reedy. Juanita handing them a memo. Here's Les Carpenter. He was the victim of that magnum. I'm not sure whether that's his blood or the deer's on his coat. And Liz. <laughs> Beagle, the lord of creation, watching what was going on. It was a fall for visitors. There's Senator Stiles Bridges, George Brown. Our favorite spot was by the pool. We had tables and chairs and umbrellas. Always made it a delightful gathering place. And there's Dolores Bridges. I couldn't resist putting flowers out to give the picture some pattern. And 
and there is Dolores with Lyndon and the Foreman's sons. Beagle was always in on everything. If he saw a camera, he came running. We all accused him of it. Oh, there's my dear Lucy going for a ride on a Shetland. Lucy was eight at that time. Lucy giving a lift to one of the foreman's children. Sunrise. My brother, Tommy Taylor, came over from Jefferson during deer season for a hunt with us. Looks like an eight-pointer he's got. My cousin, Winston Taylor, in the middle, with Lucy surveying the deer. And there's Tommy. Look how sun bronzed he was. Now, this was uh, late in November because it's on into deer season and still good swimming. Mm -hmm. 